Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. The Daily Compliance News for May 18, 2023, the Dog Ate My Homework edition. We actually have two stories where that's appropriate. The first one comes to us from Newsweek, which reports that GOP Congressman um, James Comer, who claimed that a whistleblower had information on Biden family corruption, has been lost. Yes, Uh, The GOP has lost their alleged whistleblower uh, around Biden corruption. Well, guess what? He never existed or the dog ate him. So uh, if you've got a whistleblower and you lose him, just tell the judge the dog ate my whistleblower. That story is only heightened in the testimony by Gregory Becker, the former Silicon Valley Bank CEO, who is truly sorry his bank failed. Um, Pretty amazing. Uh, And uh, one of the senators said that um, it's the dog ate my homework edition. That was Senator Sherrod Brown. Um, Becker said uh, he had thought about the question of why the bank had failed uh, from his own mistakes uh, every day for the last eight weeks, but he couldn't come up with any reasons. Gee, imagine that. So um, it's unclear if Becker's going to face any consequences from the dog eating his homework, uh, but at least he was called out in public for that. Next up from Politico, uh, former French President Nicolas Sarkozy loses an appeal on his corruption conviction. He will serve one year under house arrest wearing an electronic tag. The Paris Court of Appeals confirmed his 2021 first instant sentence to three years in jail uh, for uh, corruption. And our final story also comes to us from the New York Times. Uh, In congressional testimony, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has urged uh, that regulation for AI systems uh, be put in place. The um, Once again, we had uh, the spectacle of uh, senators and representatives who know nothing about tech trying to do a hearing around a very sophisticated uh, tech CEO. And obviously, we've had Mark Zuckerberg and Jeff Bezos as well as others. But on Tuesday, it was Sam Altman testifying before a Senate subcommittee and largely agreeing with him on the need to regulate powerful AI. Altman implored regulators to do so as members of the committee displayed little understanding of uh, the technology. Perhaps at one some point we will actually have senators who know what they're doing, um, around tech anyway. The hearing underscored the deep unease felt by technologists and the government over AI's potential harms. Uh, the appearance of Mr. Altman was uh, relatively friendly, unlike some of the other tech CEOs and giants. So AI regulation, it's coming. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.